Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to enable the Metal Performance HUD in iOS and iPadOS. This does require a Mac and it also does require Xcode. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Mac App Store and download Xcode. Once it's downloaded, we can open it. Agree, enter your passcode. We can uncheck the predictive code completion model and we only need to install the mac os section here which is already built in so we can just click install it is installing system components okay that's done continue okay now that xcode is installed and open on this mac all we need to do is take our iphone and we need to connect it via usb to our mac Okay, so once your phone is connected to your Mac, you need to unlock your phone. You need to tap trust and you need to type in your passcode. Okay, now we have successfully trusted the MacBook on the iPhone. Now we need to go into settings, privacy and security. All the way down to the bottom, you will now see this new developer mode section. We need to enable this and you will get this pop up. You need to restart your device to enable developer mode. It is now booting back up, ready to enable developer mode. Swipe up, hit enable, and enter your iPhone's passcode. And we'll be back at the lock screen like nothing happened. Now we need to enter our passcode again. We need to trust again, enter passcode again, open settings, and at the bottom of the settings page, you see developer tap on developer scroll all the way down to the bottom and enable show graphics hud once that's done we can go back to the mac back on the mac now we need to open terminal so open a blank terminal window once you're in terminal here's a few commands that we're gonna have to run the first one is xc run device CTL list devices. This command is going to list the devices connected to your Mac via USB. And we're gonna use this command to get the unique identifier for our device. So just copy that from the description, paste it in and hit enter. And you will see here we have my iPhone 16 Pro Max. And here is the identifier we need. So we're gonna copy this identifier from terminal and we are going to paste it into our notes. Next up, here's our second command, XC run device CTL device info processes dash device. Now this is going to give us a list of all the open apps running on our device. So here's where we're gonna take our device and we're gonna open the app we want to display the metal HUD on, which in this case is gonna be Resident Evil 2. Okay, now the game is open. We can put the phone to the side. Now what we need to do is take the second command and paste our unique identifier that we just got. So here we're gonna copy our identifier and we are going to paste it where the X's are. Once you have your identifier pasted, you can copy the entire thing and we can paste it in to terminal and hit enter. Now it's going to show us a list of all the open processes on our computer. So here at the bottom you see bundle application and then the application ID and then Resident Evil 2.app. What you're going to do is you're going to copy from after the dash by application till the end Resident Evil 2.app. Once you have the application ID copied, we can paste that down here. Now you're gonna take the third command and after dash dash device, we are going to once again, copy our unique identifier and replace the X's with that identifier. And we need to copy this at the app bundle ID. Copy that, highlight all the way up to the dash after application and we wanna paste that now we have this whole command here that we need to copy and paste into terminal but before you do that you need to close out of the game you have running make sure your phone stays unlocked during this process once you close the game on your phone you can paste that completed command with your identifier and the app bundle id of whatever game 
you are choosing to display the hat on and once you've pasted it be sure to add quote and hit enter once you've done that the game should automatically open and as you see here the metal performance hood is indeed on the display displaying real-time graphics information for resident evil 2. you can now safely disconnect from your mac and as you see the hud is still there and it will stay there until you completely close out of the game so by swiping up but as you see here it is indeed working properly and that ladies and gentlemen is how you display the metal performance hood on iphone or ipad i'll see you guys later